Today we're going to look at setting up a LAMP server. LAMP stands for a Linux operating system with an Apache web server, a MySQL database, and the PHP scripting language. That's what I use typically in my classes. So, first thing we're going to look at is the uh, IP address here. Now you'll notice my local internet address, 127.0.0.1. That is the loopback address, uh, also shown right here. Uh, that's not what we're talking about, but here we see an address of 192.168.0.13. I'm on a USB Linux, and I'm going from place to place on my netbook, so that number will actually change from time to time. Now you'll notice at the moment when I type that in to my browser I get an error message. Why? Because there is no web server running. First thing I'm going to do is the uh, apt-get install Apache 2. Apache 2 is the name of the web server. And get that all installed and then there's a little configuration test that you can do. You don't really have to do this feature. And when you do it, you notice it says that it could not reliably determine the server's fully qualified domain name. That's because I haven't set that up with any DNS, any domain name server of any kind. Now I can go into my configuration file here in the Apache 2, and I can change it. I changed my server name to be 192.168.0.13. You do not have to do that, um, but you could put something there. I just put the address there because it suggested it, which is kind of silly in a way because I do not actually use that one other than the days that I'm at that particular location. Anyway, I reran it and it says system OK just to show that. Obviously, I have to restart the Apache 2 system, any changes you make to go into effect. At that point, you'll notice when you go and put in that URL of 192.168.0.13 in my case, I get the default page that shows up showing that the Apache 2 web server is actually working. But I've got a few things I'm going to want to do. I'm going to want to um, set up the user directory for that because uh, right now it's not actually set up. You can't, the user directories don't work. I do have to restart it, and I will. And then I'm going to go into this mods enabled user directory config. That is where I'm going to make some changes. Although, before I do that, I want to just point out that currently I can't. My user account name is Frank, and in this case I'm choosing 127.0.0.1. That's the loopback address. That's the equivalent of saying me. So I can't find Frank user account on the current machine. Now, I'm going to create in that uh, user account the underneath the public underscore HTML. I'll create a file called index.html. And I've got some very simple uh, HTML code just saying it works, yay. And I got that saved. Now, uh, before I, I, I still haven't enabled the uh, user directory yet, but I will. Uh, I just want to point out. Uh, uncomplicated firewall I think is what that UFW stands for um, or something to that effect it just shows me what uh, some applications I got, I got running there and uh, it points out the ports 80 which is your your uh, regular HTTP port and 443 which is your HTTPS port secure port are set up and running. Now, moving right along, I've uh, looks like I've updated the rules here on uh, what I was doing. By now, you'll notice I'm actually at a different address, so I'm uh, 192.168.1.121. That's my netbook at a different location. Now, one of the things that I wanted to show here is the uh, IP address show ETH0. Oh, it doesn't exist. Well, then let's do this here. IP address show WLP1S0. It looks pretty big, and in fact, it's a little confusing. So what I did is IP address show, and that's my, um, 
my wireless is what that is. But I have a pipeline and then grep inet. So it's going to look just for the words, just for the lines that contain inet. So we see there's my, my internet address. Just looking for that. I needed to know my internet address. Anyway, moving on, I'm going to install the MySQL server. Do I want to continue? Yes. And you need a password for the super user, the root administrator of MySQL. So I'm going to do that. And repeat the password. OK. So now my database is all set up. And I'm just going to set up a MySQL secure installation. That's just something that will uh, make sure we're all set up. Enter the password there. Um, points out here that um, I can actually set up a validate password plugin that can be used to test passwords and improve security. I'm going to say no to that. I do not want to validate password plugin. It's just an additional component that's unnecessary for our purposes. However, I will remove anonymous users. That's another thing. The MySQL has allowed anonymous users just mostly to test connectivity, but I'm going to get rid of that. So I'm going to say yes for that. Okay, so I'm all done here. Now, I have to install the PHP language with some additional libraries. So, sudo apt-get install PHP, and I've got a few different libraries listed there. In particular, the PHP-MySQL, I want to be able to connect to the MySQL. And I'll get that all run. Now, I've got a little web page here and I've added a little PHP echo date YMD just to see if that will work and of course uh, I haven't enabled my directory yet so I need to do that um, sudo nano we know what that means so I'm going to be the super user and I'm running the nano program calling up the etc apache 2 mods enabled dir.conf and when I do that, there's a couple things I got to do. Here's the directory index. What will it look for? So I have index.php. If it finds that, it will open that before it even looks for index.html. So I'm putting my PHP files before my HTML files. And I got to restart Apache. Oh, wait a minute. Before I do that, mods enabled php5.config. So I'm going to go into there, and I just want to point out a lot of these things are, are um, links, L for link. So user directory dot config is a link actually, PHP seven dot config right here. And uh, what I'm going to do is where it says to re-enable PHP in user directories, comment the following lines. Yeah. So in in order to re-enable PHP to work in the user directories I need to comment that and once I do that and restart Apache I should be all set